you know, just hope uh, hopefully this ceases because, again, our city is moving good. If other cities have a problem, that's their problem. It's not Peak Rivera's. That's all I have to say. And Ben, you're doing a great job. So thank you. And let me continue with city business then. Uh, consent calendar, gentlemen? Move item. Second. I got a first and a second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 And that will take us all the way to our uh, any items on uh, yes, yes. any travel? No, no. We've got two, two, two items. Eight. Ah, so sorry. The uh, the item number eight, the vehicle uh, parking and uh, that ordinance. Uh, Second. And. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Let's go ahead and get a discussion on that. Oh. Go ahead. I think is it 80 inches tall? Is that is that the number I saw? Yeah. Uh, Steve, do you have the slide? Steve Guterres, do you have the slide? Of, bring up the slide of uh, the actual uh, size and, and limits of the vehicles. My question, Steve, are like, like how those numbers, like why is that where we're at? <laughs> uh, Mr. Mayor, City Council, um, this item is a proposed ordinance to regulate the, um, the overnight parking of oversized vehicles. The uh, number, the, those figures we came up, we looked at what other uh, municipalities around, and those are just kind of like general figures that, have, that, that are used by the local municipalities. Would um, an, uh, one RV would exceed that limit more often than not? Yes. Uh, how about a, a work truck, like a hauling truck, bobtail surge? Um, the box trucks typically would. Okay. And, and that's that's my whole concern. This issue that I brought to the attention of the council several years ago um, mostly was those work trucks that you see, have, which, which you know, like hauling trucks you see by Home Depot that are parked there all the time. Um, RVs that people just decided to use the, the front of their house as parking for an RV. It's something you, you can't have. It's a safety issue. I think it's a, a, a potentially even a blight issue. And there are places for those those vehicles to park. So I think that the situation has remained the same. And I'm happy that it's finally up here. But I mean, it's the same as it was several years ago. But I just want to make sure that that is what we're talking about. And those numbers are, are those types of vehicles, correct? Correct. Okay. That, that's the only question I had. Sir. Okay. Got a question? Uh, Following that, is this addressing the big tractor trailers that park in Walmart? Uh, and I know that's private property, but is this addressing that as well so we can put a halt to that? These big city manager, can you answer that? Yeah, Mayor, if I may, on the uh, Walmart property or that whole Vestar property, including Walmart, um, about two years ago we had issues with uh, a lot of trucks idling and parking there. Um, just waiting for a pickup. All night, yes. Sometimes uh, long hours at a time. So there was things that going on there. We did have a conversation with Vestar and Walmart, and that's pretty much already ceased. Uh, Walmart is, is on board. We constantly, our, our, group, our team constantly meets with them just to remind them if they're seeing it. Um, there's AQMD issues as well of, of idling um, in a parking lot, which they shouldn't be doing. Um, and really, all they are is really, they're waiting for a pickup. There's not a lot, enough dock space that maybe one of the uh, places are going to drop off or pick up, so they, they find a place to park. And um, it had been Walmart for a while, and, and that has since stopped. And if it, if it, if it happens, I know the captain's uh, reached out uh, trying to get him the right signage, so um, it's, 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 been, it's been pretty good over the last several months. So we have Mr. Mayor, can I ask a follow-up on sure, that? Go right ahead. So, so the drivers would communicate either with Sheriff or with our representatives that they were waiting for pickups? No. Space, yeah. um, no, but when we went out to address, like, why are you here? Um, it was just a place to park because they said they have a load they got to pick up and it's they can't get into the dock, so they needed a place to park. At one of our businesses? Yes. That's, that's an interesting dilemma there. Yeah. So one of the things we've been looking at is how can we help them find a place to park more like an RV stop or a truck stop, right? In essence, that maybe they can idle without burning, you know, fuel and contaminating the air. Um, so we are looking at strategies on ways that we can help park them in places that may be okay for for wait for wait times. How did Vestar and or Walmart feel about that? Walmart wasn't really aware of it until they saw the problem. Um, they had a policy where they would allow people who are traveling um, to spend the night, like RVs and stuff, but it became proliferated. So uh, Vestar and both um, Walmart saw it as an issue for them. 
But, but to, reiterate, or to clarify David's question, this is not really related to that. It's not, but it was it was kind of in, interchangeable because it was things that we started looking at and it led to look at other things that were going on. But in the city. this ordinance doesn't give us any change. Absolutely not. That's to that private, completely private property separate issue. Any other questions, Council? Uh, Gustavo? <clears throat> no, I'm just glad that we've now come. I know that we've dealt with this in the past, and Steve has been working with this, and I know uh, uh, Councilman Tercero and I dealt with this back when, but there has been an increase based on the report and our meetings of, of complaints, and not solely to the original uh, issue just with RVs, but we had uh, obviously more uh, work trucks of this nature. I know you didn't bring any pictures that you showed us in the ordinance, uh, excuse me, in the ad hoc, correct? And then in addition to that, there's been a lot more uh, due to a variety of different factors, but folks actually now camping in our community, if you will, right? Uh, uh, can you elaborate on that a little bit, Steve? Um, uh, typically over the, the past several years, we were very consistent in receiving approximately 30 to 35 complaints regarding oversized vehicles a year um, that we would follow up on. In 2016, that figure tripled. Um, so we dealt with approximately 100 complaints regarding oversized vehicles. Those include box trucks, um, trailers, and, and RVs, and, and particularly there, there were, um, most of it was RVs. Now, um, that's probably due to, to several reasons. One of those is obviously all the other local municipalities in the area have an oversized vehicle ordinance to prohibit overnight parking, and everybody ends up in the city of Pico Rivera. And there was an increase in, in, in homelessness. Um, but there was a tr it was literally tripling of, of complaints that we followed up on and that's what led us um, to to introducing the ordinance the staff recommending that the ordinance uh, for oversized vehicles uh, um, be put into place well, thank you for the clarification and being on that house on both uh, uh, times you know seeing one of the increasing complaints uh, to the the different types of vehicles that are out there and I know we addressed the issue with some of these vehicles getting graffiti on them And I know we're going to be addressing that through through a different program not through this ordinance, but something to deal with and then to see that uh, some of the some of these um, uh, RVs are being obviously uh, being slept in overnight and finding out too that there's now companies out there who are renting these vehicles uh you know to m multiple parties it's just obviously the problem has gotten a little bit to to a degree that now this ordinance does make sense so i'm glad that we are now bringing it back in and uh it, it just seems right now it didn't seem right for me then it seems right now so i'm, I'm glad we're we're uh, bringing it to the table mr mayor state council if you if if, if i may there is one minor um, edit that we would like to make. We were passed around. We were given a, a, a piece of paper. Um, it dealt with, with 48 temporary parking permits. On there it says resident, and um, we are recommending that we add tenant or property owner to include everybody, so it's just not a resident. So it, it could be anywhere in the city that we can enforce this ordinance. And if I may, at this uh, time, based on the, the subject matter, I know we've also had the conversation here and, and the ad hoc of even addressing our, our just parking in general. I know we've received numerous complaints from residents. It's just, you know, the, uh, the, the, the parking situation just throughout our streets that we're going to be addressing uh, as whether to look at permitting, uh, whether to look at different uh, issues to alleviate that problem. So uh, I know it has nothing to do with this, but at the same token, I think it's important that we continue pursuing some way of uh, uh, minimizing the impact of the over proliferation of vehicles, quite frankly, uh, in our community. So thank you, Steve. Good. And once again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, residents and everyone, uh, we'll be out there giving warnings, I understand, Steve, first time around. And uh, but uh, we do have residents that have visitors that will come in from out of town over the summer and uh, they'll be there. All they got to do is call the city, get a 48 hour permit and or residents who have a, uh, a motor home and they're going to go on vacation. They're going to be out there for a day or so stocking up, getting it ready. They just got to notify the city. So uh, we're just trying to keep the vehicles off the streets that are there uh day in and day out week in and week out and uh, cause problems so with this i think we'll address the issue so uh staff thank you for the work you did mr Mayor, does that uh, motion a second incorporate the revision of section 1080.03 with the amendment 
with the amendment. Second on that. Okay, we have a first and a second with the amendment. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I think, uh, did we pull anything else, gentlemen? I don't think nope. so. So, One more. That, what? Uh, nine. nine. We got him number nine. Okay, this, uh, the update, uh, city manager. Yes, Mayor. The, the next item is the uh, an update on news racks uh, that we have located the, on city right of way throughout our city. I'm going to have our assistant city attorney.